My name is Kim Wai Pei. I'm a lecturer in English and I'm teaching English subject. Hello everyone. Today the lesson we are going to do is a continuation of the lesson on the conduct of life written by William Hazlitt for class 12. Now we are coming to the last part and we will continue to take up the last second last paragraph and last paragraph. As to your studies and school exercise, I wish you to learn Latin, French and dancing. I would insist upon the last more particularly, both because it is more likely to be neglected and because it is of the greatest consequence to your success in life. So in this paragraph, Hazlitt, with all the other advices, he want his son to learn Latin, French and last of all, dancing. He want his son to give more important to dancing because it is likely to be neglected. The reason why he want his son to learn dancing is it is more likely to be neglected and it will be of the greatest consequence means very important for his success in life. See how the Karino Ebon Tamda has lit Namacha Nupad Sida Latin Shutam Hanningi, French Shutam Hanningi, and the Huay de Maru Oina dancing Tam Hanningi. Karigino Hebon Tamda dancing Sina Magi the Magda. Magi success the um, important or mana dancing si important you hai. Everything almost depends upon first impression and this depends upon two things dress and address, which everyone may command with proper attention. And so you see, everything in our life depends on two things, and that two things is dress and address. So the first impression of a person depends on trust. So, ahoy na mi ahan ihan han na thing na basa ahoy ki first impression se haba phat na basa karida lay hai raga ma ki dress na raga ma ki habit kamai na mingon da wa hai raga na raga conversation ta ubra adu ki matang da ahoy na loy na first impression the p. If the dress that is the first impression we had. Adagi magi wangang, adagi lonchat sajat simayam se first impression pi with quite important way. These are the small coins in the intercourse of life which are continually in request and perhaps you'll find at the year's end or towards the close of life that the daily insult, coldness or contempt to which you have been exposed by a neglect of such superficial recommendation are hardly atoned for come by the few proofs of esteemed or admiration which your integrity or talent have been able to extort in the course of it. So you see, the, these are the small coins. Impression first, what is it? The first impression is dress and address. Piron, see the first impression. Even though they are such a small things, it is very important in the intercourse. Intercourse means dealing between an individuals. Dress and address are very important. And these things are continually in request. See dress ka address. Am darkar oi raba. Ya am di kaim ta. Kai no di oi daba. A small thing di oi ba. Adora so it is very important because with this dress and address we were judged by. We give a first impression to the person you meet for the first time. Aduna, why di ge hoy na tauri shishu? Ya am neglect oi gali. We don't bother about address. We don't bother about how we talk to people. But these small coins are what is very important in the, the course of our life. So, the daily insult, 
coldness or contempt which we uh, encounter every day that will be if we do not dress properly those things or the esteem the talent that we have earned the integrity that we have all this will be compensated aduna akhoi na talent mayam le ri ba the integrity mayam le ri ba se dress phajana taudaba matam da sima khai se loi na akhoi gi inborn skill talent mayam se akhoi gi damak da adu gi phajana dress taudaba gi maram na ma gi value so loi na ta thara kadaba ma ong ama le re aduna we have to be very much we give we must give important to this dress and addressed when we habitually disregard those things which we know will ensure the favorable opinions of others it shows we set that opinion at defense or consider ourselves above it which no one ever did with impunity so when we habitually disregard those things disregard those things mean dress and ad address akhoin adu da dress and address the important pe pe da matam da we are showing that the unfavorable the favorable opinions of the other it shows that we set that opinion at defense aduna mean akhoi the favor to rakad bado akhoi na open this approval pe bo oina dress ka address phajada bado ki tholak khare and when we consider above all this dress ka address ka akhoi na phajana manam cha da da na tra ga importance pe da ba matam da kari tawi the punishment we got is all the contempt on the con, uh, this one the insult what we have already on by the integrity akhoi integrity maya am loi na putho ga an taw ba ma khai do akhoi gi dress ka address phaja da ba gi maram na asi loi na value se ta tha halle aduna akhoi na punishment phangi se kari no contempt adagi insult coldness si mayam se khoi na phanga doi ni aduna we have to be very careful about how we dress and address people whether it, even though it is very small we have to be very careful and we should give important to this small things it is just like a small coins akhoi na paisa not yam yam na 2000 na traga 3000 10000 paisa yam ba se koi no loi na value pi adubu we never give any attention to the small coins so likewise adubu small coins lupa magi coins yau da na cha ma sem ba ya de paisa aduna just like that dress are even though small a dress are a very small thing like a small coins we cannot get success in life without these two things and an attention to our own person implies the disrespect to others and may often be treated no less to a one of good nature than of good sense and in attention in attention means lack of attention to one person implies the disrespect to others so when we don't dress properly ahoina aigi attention isai sa de pi de bamatam da dress phajana taw de bamatam da kari tawi we are showing that we are uh, showing this respect to other people hi badi mioi ba khoina le mine ra ba mi do adu khoina respect to de hi na uthok da bane aduna so it is very important that we dress very well kari gino hai bam tam da officer ama gumba khoina le mine ba matam da phiron emot mot laga natra ga phibam suk cha cha da da na khoi mamang da le pu de we used to wear the best of a dress to impress the person you are with aduna akhoina phajana dress to dom dom da kari utle we don't give we are showing this respect to the others aduna sit si kari da la e si gumba this respect se we used to dress it and consider it as one of good nature aduna ma gi good nature le ta ba gi good sense leite hai buna taba ma gi nature phat taba gi leite taba gi manas maina phajana dress to da bani hai da na we used to give we used to think it like that also the all maximed desire to please and he will infallibly please explain the whole matter so there is a maxim maxim means proverb what does the proverb say 
desire to please and you will infallibly infallibly means without fail please explain the whole matter so when we want to please someone however hard it may be we tried our level best and we used to please that person attention draw we tried our level best and we are successful in the end aduna mi ama pen han ge haiba matamda akhoi na effort piraga last ta di pen han ba ngami aduna we do we have to have the desire to please someone so this explain the whole matter if there is a tendency to vanity and affectation on this side of the question there is an equal alloy of pride and obstinacy on the opposite want so here is if there is a tendency, tendency means indication, likeliness. Hai ba? Toning bagi na traga, utning bagi, magi, yaning bagi amalai ba? To vanity. Vanity means unreasonable pride for one's appearance. And affectation means artificiality. On this side of the question, on this side of the question, se karino, dress and dressing. If dress and dress, uh, this one, dress and address are associated with the vanity and affectation and in this place on the opposite side there is obstinacy and pride always is associated with refusing to dress very well aduna ahoy se we when we don't dress properly it also express a feeling that we are obstinate Stubborn, obstinacy hai bidi, stubborn oiba. Aduna, we should give or we should have a proper dress in order to impress the person you are with. This first impression is very important. Slovenliness may at any time be cured by an effort of resolution, but a graceful carriage requires an early habit and in cases the aid of dancing master. So you see, slovenliness means untidy in appearance. Imod mod na piron, imod mod na lairak pa daw, that is called untidy, slovenliness. So, this slovenliness can be cured by effort of resolution. Ako ay na resolve tao raga, ay nga si da ki smart oi raga, hay da na resolve tao wamatam da, we can cure that slovenliness. But what we cannot cure is graceful. Graceful means beautiful, carriage means manner. Ado na ako ay ki manner si di resolution tara, so we cannot cure it. So, what does this need? This needs an early habits. Early habits and in this early habits, we come to the point of a dancing master. Dancing master, man, a dance, tamamba taradi, he will be very, very active and he will develop a good posture and that carriage. Magi manner mayam, magi posture mayam, physical appearance, is already shaped from a very early stage when he learned dancing. So that is why Haslid he said his son should dancing in order to give a good posture, in order to have an early graceful carriage, graceful posture in his life. I will not have you for not knowing how to enter a room properly, stumble at the very threshold. In the good graces of those on whom it is possible the fate of your future life may depend. Aduna magi machanu pa da man oi hanning tu se karigi no hai matam da dancing tamam da badagi magi graceful posture lai traba magi manner da magi habit da graceful oi traba aduma pa da kari tawi he don't want his son to stumble at the threshold. Threshold means doorway. So. We become clumsy. Graceful karita we physically we become clumsy and then we used to have lots of mistakes also. Aduna, he do not want his son to stumble in the threshold, in the doorway, in the good graces means in the favor or to whom he won the favor. Mana favor pamba amagi migi mayum the thong thongjin the mana. That is not a very good impression he created for the person. So that person may be the one on which his future depends. Ahoy, your future depends 
oiramba tai oiramba yai karigino ai bamda for example if i enter an interview and then if i stumble at the threshold and then fall down i do not create a very good impression aduna he do not want his son to have that kind of nature that kind of appearance and that's why he want his son to learn dancing in order to have a good posture as well as a graceful carriage nothing creates a greater prejudice against anyone than awkwardness awkwardness means clumsiness in manner trust so you see nothing in the world create a prejudice a prejudice means an opinion formed without knowing the fact so against anyone then awkwardness what is awkwardness clumsiness akoi na clumsy oi da ba oi ba matam da smart oi da ba matam da kari tawi we feel awkward akoi ki manner so we feel very awkward ko aduna adu gumba small manner di oi ba yam important di oi da ba very trivial things but it plays a great role in our life can depend the our future success can depend on this small thing what we call trust and interest a person is who is confused in manner and gesture seems to have done something wrong as if he was conscious of no one qualification to build a confidence in himself upon it so you see a person who is confused in manner when you do not have confidence in yourself you are Sub, uh, sometimes you happen to do so many mistakes we are able that means we commit so many mistakes in our life we are liable to commit many mistakes so we have to be very very confident in our manner so in so we have to build a confidence in our self on the other hand openness freedom self possession set others at ease with you by showing that you are on good terms with yourself so on the other hand what we need to do is openness openness mean not to have bias am am ga loi na chap mana na mit yeng mana na yeng ba ama da favor to da ba ama na he na favor to da ba adu gum do we call it openness freedom self possession means when we speak freely when we can control our self position at that time what do we show we show that the other people i am there is some harmony within myself and this harmony creates something put the other person i am with at ease adun ai gi leimina ba mi gi damak ta ai na open oira ga openness leira ga freedom leira ga self position leira ka da leimina ba mi du gi damak ta yam nungai ba hai badi wari sana bo ra su in in any way communication oira ta ra su we easily communicate with each other and then we can go very peacefully or we can amicably have a conversation and then become a good friends also grace in women gains the affection sooner and secures them longer than anything else it is an outward and visible sign of an inward harmony of souls as the one of it in man as if the mind and body equally hitch and difficulties were distracted with doubts is the greatest impediments in the career of gallantry and the road to the female heart so you see the the uh, grace in women grace in women is very important especially for women when women are graceful we love to look at them we see them with appreciation and it earns affection sooner than anything else no pi amagi hazabai tare dimagi graceful posture da leira kanda it secures affection sooner than anything else so it is very important for any women to be graceful it is an outward and visible sign of an inward harmony so when we become graceful what does it show a isa isa na aigi soul gi manung da isa itom si da harmonious i badi 
ai isa makta su conflict lai ba yai adugum ba conflict natra ga stress lai da ba ai body and soul is in harmony hai ba utho pa ma oi na lai when we are graceful so as the one of it in man if the mind and body equal hitch so just like women needs graces men also when they lack this grace as if the soul and the body is totally different not in harmony this is the greatest impediment means obstruction in the career of gallantry gallantry means charmingly att attentive to women aduna man asugumba grace later kan da nupa gi tamak ta su it becomes it is as if his body and soul is not in harmony aduna ma gi masa gi manung si da harmony lai ta ba confused oi ba self confident lai ta ba graceful oi da ba asimatam da it becomes quite difficult to win the hearts of women also which is very important Another thing I would caution you against is not to pour over your books till you are bent almost double a habit you'll never be able to get the better of and which you'll find of serious ill consequences so another thing which has lit one or advise his son is not to pour over his books pour means study closely so has lit son has the habit of studying so long for a long time he loved to study so much he used to use all his play time also in study mana sana ga da bagi matam phau do mana lai pa ba matam da loi na sisi na thokre aduna ma gi matam se he loved to read books and he want his son not to pour over books for he will almost have a double the habit of bent double aduna koi na lairik paragas mai na phama kan da kari taw re ma gi physical posture da he will form a bend a back bend ma gi maning ses mai na kolak pa hai ba di ma gi nature da ya mai na koi koi na lai ka ma gi physical posture pao he destroyed he even destroy his physical posture and when he destroy his physical posture what is the result what is the consequence he may not be able to achieve the success which he was pursuing in life because of that backbend which he developed because of reading too much books aduna lairik yam pa man badagi mana physical posture soi han bado it may be of great consequence in his later life a stopped in the soldier sings a man in public and private estimation so a stoop in the shoulder means when we have a, a stoop shoulders like this not straight posture what does it become it sings a man in public and private estimation private estimation means value so however great man he may be when he had a stoop shoulder like this his he, he sings in public means lower his private estimation ma gi value do adu gi ma gi posture phajada baduna public ta ma gi value uh, lower oi hali you are at present straight enough and spirit do nothing to take away the use of your limbs or the spring and elasticity of your muscles so he advised his son not to do something which will spoil his straight physical posture and to take away the elasticity elasticity means flexibility kon tho kon sin da yam graceful oi ra flexible oi ba se asi loina to keep up with this he want his son not to do something that could could spoil this elasticity of his muscles aduna akoi muscle me yam se su elasticity adum lai na ngai se we have to do something physical posture is also very important in our daily life as to all worldly advantages it too is full of as much important that your deportment should be erect and mainly as your actions so it is full of much importance that your deportment 
as to all worldly advantages we have all the advantages in the world adu why the importance of karino important is your behavior your behavior should be erect and manly as your actions nange action do straight oiraga da gidi manly so igada adu umbo oiraka da we even though other worldly things are important and advantages to others our behavior should always be erect and our action should be man- manly you will naturally find all this and fall into it if your attention is drawn out sufficiently to what is passing around you and this will be the case unless you are absorbed too much in books and those sedentary studies which waste the marrow and consume the brain so he advised his son you will naturally find out all this and fall into it so he said to his son you will find out what i have said in the above paragraph true when your attention is drawn out sufficiently to what is passing around so when we look around us passing around everything has led he said his son will realize the truth about what he had said about good posture graceful carriage behavior manner everything so this will be the case unless you are absorbed too much in books ma ke machanupi machanupa have he has the habit of reading too much books like ya pa ba ki habit se lai man ba dagi he spend his time in sedentary sedentary means characterized by much setting so you see ma na phamjin ba da dum kai no to man ba dagi ma ki posture se ma na loi na this pro- proportionate oil eh? and when we study too much what happen studying too much absorb ourselves in too much of books where's the marrow vera means vitality of the body akoi na koi gi body vital oi ba healthy oi ba se phaman ba da gi kari taw re last study we lost all those vitality also and it consume the brains reading too much also consume the brains akoi gi brain mai amse se loi na consume oi man ba da kan da di we cannot achieve success and we need reading books as well as physical fitness also you cannot these two should go hand in hand you are i think too fond of reading as it is as one means of avoiding excess in this way i would wish you to make it a rule never to read at meal time nor in company when there is any conversation going on nor ever to let your eagerness to learn encroach upon your play hours so in the last he gave his son not to read too much books so in order to avoid reading of too much book he asked his son to make some rules now what is the first rule the first rule is never to read at meal times has the gimacha no pass like tam paning ba aduna chak cha ba matam da phaw mana like pahal akan da di that way of reading too much book is not also healthy so he asked his son to make a rule so that he can cure himself from reading books too much so the first rule is never to read at meal times chak cha ba matam da like paro doi ba nor in company when there is any conversation going on akhoi na miwai ba ma company friend gumba leiraga wari sarna ba chatha ba matam da lairik paroi doi ba nor ever to let your eagerness to learn and crouch upon your play hours and then your eagerness man paning ba ki tamning man ba ki wakhal aduna ma gi sarna ba matam do loi na loisinan ba do adu su lei haloi doi ba we have to give time to play also we should not use up those play time in reading books so all these rules he asked his son to make it so that he can come out from his habit of reading too much books books are but one inlet of knowledge and the pores of the mind like those of body should be left open to all impressions so he said books are only one inlet like hai ba se one only one inlet ha bit knowledge changak pham gi only one way one way ama khaktani aduna knowledge changak pase karino books study only one way ni 
and then what do we have to do? Our brain is like a pores. A pores means an opening. So we have to open our mind to all impression that is going around us. Kari kari no koi na ta loi na satari ba every issues, every problems, everything we should open our mind towards all that also, all those impressions also. Aduna lairi khak ta da thawai changa ga. That is in incomplete. I applied too closely to my studies soon after I was of age and hurt myself irreparably by it. Whatever may be the value of learning, hell and good spirits are of more. So he said that when Haslid, he said to his son, when he was a young boy, when he was young, he read too much books and that reading of too much book had spoiled his physical, physical posture which he cannot repair in his afterlife. That means in his later life. So whatever may be the value of learning. So he said in the last line, learning is very important, but hell and good spirits are of more. If we are not healthy, if we do not have good spirits, there is no meaning of learning. So learning should go hand in hand with physical fitness also. This is what he wanted to give an advice to his son. Now let's look at the possible question from the above paragraph so that you can have or you can do at home. Number one, why did Hazlitt insist his son should learn dancing? Number two, explain why Hazlitt called dress and address the small coins in the course of life. Three, how according to Hazlitt can a man develop a graceful carriage? Number four, why does Hazlitt advise his son to have self-confidence? Five, what does Hazlitt say of grace in women? Six, what are the rules that Hazlitt's son should make about his reading habits? So with all these questions to practice at home, let me wind up this chapter and now this lesson, we, we are concluding this lesson. So until we meet again in the next class.